retailers have vision and ambition beyond just making clothes. Defining a new way of selling and branding, their names would soon become synonymous with high street fashion, none more so than the company started in Leeds by Lithuanian Meshe David Ozinski, better known as Montague Burton. He's an incredible British success story, he's an incredible Leeds success story. From 1904, when he had one store, I think by, by the start of the Second World War in 1939, he was up to 500 or 600 stores. Quite an extraordinary success story. Um, and he did it by being innovative, being by ballsy, and by understanding the, the mentality of the customer. So he, they put a lot of effort into creating what nowadays we would call a brand. Um, so, and a uniform brand, so that any high street you went to in the UK, you would know that that was a Burton store. Um, he would put a billiard hall or a snooker hall above the store to make it a destination for men. These days in retail you hear a lot about destination stores and it being an experience. Well, he made it an experience back in the 1920s. Even though like, I was only 18 years old when I opened HIP, like, I think I was just like, more surprising than, than anything like, that we had in people who actually came in and then bought stuff. It's like, wow. Uh, being like a buyer and then going to shows and seeing Everton around and how people react to him and they all want to talk to him. It's kind of a celebrity almost. But the first time I became aware of yeah, streetwear stuff was definitely hip. And they, they were groundbreaking really, you know. They brought stuff to Leeds that nobody had ever seen, you know. So Supreme, nobody can stock it. Yeah, yeah. All right. There's only about four or five stores back then that yeah, stock yeah. Supreme. It's the hardest account on earth. That I do think that that was quite a big pull for the time to get Supreme. It's sort of, you know, like it was sort of like around that time that we used to go to New York and then go buy sneakers. And then we used to then sort of like buy them really cheap and bring them back. And then, you know, like, and then, then we used to put the sneakers next to the clothes in the, in the store. And that was really done before that, you see. I just thought this is, this is so exciting and you know fashion can be so much more than just trends and I, just, I remember saying to her this isn't a college project this is a life's work. I, I don't think a lot of people can see or pinpoint the exact moment in which you realize that yes this is it this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. She recently won the International Alumni Prize from the British Council uh, she was shortlisted one of three people internationally and she won the prize for um, uh, impact, uh, social impact of her work. Um, quite extraordinary. And she's, uh, you know, become very well known in, in India and worldwide now. So we have been campaigning um, for about a year now to end acid sale and um, we have been successful because right after we ran the campaign for about six months the Supreme Court of India did direct states to regulate the sale of acid but um, I think that's a really small step in this big fight that we have going on.